This video was inspired by a question. Is it really worth installing Arch just for mediocre gaming? Well, I'm an idiot, so yes. Recently I installed Debian on this PC from 2007. In general, it went okay. But Debian didn't let me install the GPU drivers for this old NVIDIA card due to security, which quite literally reminds me of 1984. This part specifically. It was a bright cold day in April, and the clocks were striking 13. Winston Smith, his chin nuzzled into his breast in an effort to escape the vile wind created by Debian's dystopian decisions to not support the 340 NVIDIA drivers, meaning Winston is forced to use the shitty Nouveau driver on his old ass PC, meaning his gaming performance is slightly reduced. This is 1984, bitch. But there is hope through the AUR, but that means Arch Linux. I, I mean, I guess I could possibly use Endeavor OS or Manjaro for the AUR, but it wouldn't be that interesting. And before doing this raw, I'm installing Arch on a VM first, and that actually went pretty well, surprisingly. But real hardware is always a different experience from a VM, and you know, installing Arch on the metal was... a bit troublesome. But once I actually got it working with the GUI, I was all like... Though it's successfully installed, it feels like the PC is still super unstable. It does things like not detect the SSD, so I have to unplug and replug it to work. I keep getting this blank white login screen, but not every time, and I can still log in, so it's fine, it'll be fine. I just want to game on this. No Arch installation is complete without NeoFetch, but NeoFetch is actually lame and cringe. High fetch is where it's at. It even tells you happy Prime Month, cause it's June while I'm making this video. I said I had to use the AUR, but maybe I don't have to. Maybe there's another way. There's NVIDIA All, which is a script that allows you to install various versions of drivers, including old ones. Fuck, the driver's too old. I feel so betrayed. It reminds me of this part of 1984. There was a dull aching in Winston's belly. It had been there ever since he found out he couldn't install old NVIDIA drivers on his Linux PC using the script he found on GitHub due to it not supporting 340 drivers. This is what Orville warned us about. I guess I have no choice. I must use the AUR. I was so anxious this wouldn't work due to me being incompetent or it just not being a good driver or me messing it up or something. But this video really helped me make sure I did everything right. Also the installation was decently straightforward, just needed a copy of file to a specific directory and I also switched to the LTS kernel. Moment of truth. Yes! The desktop looks a lot nicer with the right driver installed. I also no longer get a white screen at login. The driver seemed to have fixed a lot of stability issues in fact. If anyone knows what's up with that, uh, let me know. Would you like the <laughs> Valve hardware survey? Hell yeah. Now that I have the right GPU drivers installed, let's do some gaming. Let's try Half-Life. How many seconds per friend do you think this is? The time, the the time, the time, the time is, 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 is. Oh. Well, how much better does Baldi perform with this driver? Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. Math! Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. Math! Answer the three questions. They're the same. Hey, Celeste works well, but no different than on Debian with Nouveau, so it's worthless. What about One Night Hot Springs? Hey, it works perfectly, but it also works perfectly on literally anything because it's a visual novel. The problem with Steam Linux games is that Steam really likes Vulkan. This card doesn't really support Vulkan, so I'm generally just using the Nouveau driver anyway on Steam. So is this project a total bust? Did I just waste a cumulative 48 hours of my life learning Arch for nothing? No. Retro Arch. RetroArch lets you use OpenGL instead of Vulkan. And guess what? It runs NES games perfectly. As does literally anything. It runs Doom with DOSBox. Debian with Nouveau actually performs worse with it. But SNES with Beastness Core is different.
Kirby was an outlier. Most of the other SNES games did perfectly or close to perfect in performance. I tried to emulate N64 and it wouldn't even entertain the idea. I then spent multiple hours compiling Duck Station for Arch on an Athlon X2 from 2007, only to find it wouldn't play any game whatsoever. Well, this gaming was a lot more mediocre than I thought, but I can at least flex this, which makes me a gamer and Linux desktop user of all time. Can you say that you use Arch I can't play SNES games at mediocre to good quality with your 2007 PC? BTW? TM? Yeah, didn't think so.